everyone, Justine Frolker here from JBF Therapy and Coaching and author of Ever Upward. It's Self Care Tip Tuesday. So today I'm going to talk to you about meditation. I am by no means a meditation expert, but I continue to post articles about it. I recommend it to my friends and family and to all of my clients pretty much. The research behind the benefits of meditation are just too vast and super supportive to not meditate. It can help improve your mood, anxiety, stress management, coping skills, relationships, helps you be more engaged in your life, boosts your immune system, helps you sleep better. It just goes on and on and on what really meditation can do to help you. So I am not wired like a meditator. Um, I do think that there are just some people who are really zen-like and really meditate well. Um, it is a muscle that I have to work out every day but I can say after significant practice I have meditated more days than not in the last three years and it's something that I try to do every single day as part of my self-care daily routine one of the reasons I think I have stuck with meditation as long as I have is because I have kind of a plethora of ways that I like to meditate because I can go forward and say okay I'm gonna to meditate today what do I feel like doing um, and I don't dread it and so that has helped me when I first started meditating, I just started listening to music. I listened to kind of soft, re reflective music and sat there with, you know, palms up and add attention, eyes closed, eyes focused inward and up at the inner guide and um, listening to that music and allowing that music to be my thought process and that, that helped me sit quietly for five to ten minutes every day. I then kind of started using essential oils. I write about this in the book. Um, just kind of um, putting some essential oils, the same scent every time so that your brain gets that signal of, okay, yeah, she is chilling out right now. She's letting her mind be free and just being. And so that has helped me kind of stick with it. Throughout the last three years that I have been meditating, I have found lots of different resources. I love Gabrielle Bernstein's YouTube channel. Um, lots of free videos on there, kundalini yoga videos, chanting meditations, mantra meditations. I love Gabby's books. I love her YouTube channel, so that's a great place to check out. I also love the Headspace app. It's a free app for the first 10 sessions basically and then you can subscribe to it and you can unlock all of these different kinds of meditations like eating, walking, sleeping, um, balance, relationships, acceptance, creativity. Uh, I really like once you get into the um, past the foundation of the Headspace app, you get into like creativity and things like that and there's a lot of visualization which I really found helpful. His voice doesn't suck either so it really kind of helped me stick with it. It wasn't like a corny voice. Um, you obviously can YouTube guided visualizations or meditations and find hundreds of thousands if not millions of videos to try meditation. I also very much really like um, Oprah and Deepak's uh, meditation app. I really like their true success. It was a 21 day meditation experience. It was free for a while and I believe now you can purchase it but you can replay it as many times as you like. Kind of starts off with Oprah just introducing the topic then Deepak talks about stuff and then he guides you through kind of a mantra meditation and how to do it. So that was a great kind of meditation app for me to work up to because it is really just sitting in silence for about 10 to 14 minutes while repeating a mantra to you. And so that's something that I have found um, really huge in my meditation practice. I also make sure that I have a meditation space, which is something I highly recommend. I found a meditation pillow online that helps my legs not fall asleep because that was super distracting. So that has helped me stick with it. And I also have a meditation altar. Um, I'll post a picture at the beginning of this video with my altar so that you can see everything that's on it. I learned that from Gabrielle Bernstein also. It's just full of things that I love or are meaningful to me and um, that's where I can sit and pray and reflect for hopefully 20 minutes every day is usually my goal. I don't get it every day. What I encourage you to do is just seek out different ways to meditate so that you can try to be for five to ten minutes every day. You will feel a difference in your mood and your energy and your immunity, all of those things. It's something that I still really have to actively practice every day, but I can tell a difference when I'm not doing it. I would love to hear what your favorite meditations are, so make sure you drop links or comments or books down in the comments below, or tweet me, my handle's at Justine Frolker, and I'll see you next time for Self Care Tip Tuesday. In the meantime, make sure it's a great day. Thanks.